what's up it's black onyx so it is today is march 30th and it literally is 1 16 in the morning um, i'm just getting back from the flight um, i went to texas for a day to host a natural hair expo and it was awesome but um as i'm getting ready for bed i was like you know what may as well just come in and finally do this video for you all on how I pineapple my hair at night. Um, it's one of the questions that I get a lot and I just wanted to share you, with you how I do it at least, um, which I'm sure is exactly how everyone else does it as well. But um, pineappling your hair is simply a method of um, putting your hair all on top of your head just kind of like a pineapple um, it's a great way to be able to preserve your hairstyle that you have you know gone through you know extreme lengths to accomplish meaning if you did an amazing twist out braid out bantu knot out wash and go anything and instead of you retwisting every single night because I'm just I'm not team retwist I just I just cannot um, but I pretty much it's rare that I ever retwist because I preserve again my style by pineappling my hair at night it works really really well and it's great for um, you know all hair types but I'm gonna show you especially for kinky and curly um, girls so I'm gonna show you exactly how I do mine um, and I'll walk you through the rest of my you know bedtime routine another time but um, what I have already done um, off this video before I thought I was recording um, I did my scalp massage using our Alicay Naturals essential 17 hair growth oil so you guys know how I feel about my growth oil um, I mean it's definitely essential to scalp health um, so I already took care of that part um, also now what I have not done is yet was I'm just gonna spray my hair just a little bit with the um, shine crave hair glosser and I'm just gonna honestly two squirts of it or if you have the one in the spout it's the exact same thing but just two drops and I just want to rub it all over my hair um, because I know no matter what you're tying your hair with at night your hair is still going to um, tend to get a little bit dry so it gives it a little bit of moisture um, before I go to bed now um, now we're gonna move on to actually pineapple so here we go all you want to do is you need a satin scarf um, this one I got I have multiple ones of these because I tend to lose them somehow um, but this one I purchased at a regular beauty supply store um, so what you want to do is you take it can either be satin or silk but when you're tying your hair up with these you want to find the softer the um, softer side and that's the side that you want to you know tie your hair with um, if you have extremely extremely thick hair um, you can either use a you can use a couple of things to actually tie your hair up and you want to pull your hair up this way and up this way if you have a satin scrunchie um, a satin scrunchie or hair tie you can use it and pull your hair up like this and you know it really really helps especially with thicker hair to get it all up um, if you don't have a satin um, scrunchie or hair tie you can use another scarf or satin bonnet like something like this and I you know I don't do it this way but I'm going to show you so you would just tie it and pull it up like so pull your hair up wrap this around loosely and then you can tie your hair down for your pineapple method and the reason that I say this is for thicker hair is because when your hair is very thick it's really hard to get it all pulled up so easily so as you can see, you know, it's laid down, it's pretty, pretty smooth. Um, I typically do mine without this underneath. So you can also use a um, an ouchless headband that's really, really loose as well. But I prefer using satin items while tying my hair down. 
So this is how you do it without an extra reinforcement underneath. So you pull your hair up and forward. Try not to mess too much with your ends because you're trying to preserve that style of course. Then you put your scarf up like so. Make sure your ears are not tucked in and you make sure your hair is smoothed up. Then you tie, tie it. And when it's tied and you're holding these two ends, I pull this up so it tucks my hair all the way up. Can you see? And then for me, I like to just pull this straight in the back. And you can, I just tie mine in a quick bow. It's easy. And I tuck the ends. And there we go. So then you can pull your hair a little bit more forward and you're pretty much good. So you guys see my curls are preserved while I sleep. Um, I don't have too many things rubbing on my edges. There we go. So that is the pineappling method that is the simplest way to do it so hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you um what what I prefer to do at this point is I usually don't sleep with my regular um, satin bonnet on because it can squish my hair. At this point, what you want to do is either sleep on a satin or silk pillowcase, um, again, to preserve your hair because um, static electricity can cause breakage, so you want to avoid that. Or you can put a extra, 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 extra large bonnet over your hair while it's pineappled and that's going to keep it from um, squishing underneath a smaller bonnet. There's one from Florbella Boutique that I have. It's purple. It was super cute and that one works well for me. But tonight I'm too tired to look for my bonnet so I'll just be sleeping on a satin pillowcase. But hopefully this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in the Alec Naturals products seen in this video, you can find a link below and they can be purchased at alekaynaturals.com. Don't forget to follow me on Insta. Um, you guys know I'll be on Instagram even tonight while I'm falling asleep. But um, Black Onyx 77 on Insta and Black Onyx World on Facebook. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, stay natural, and you all have a fantastic, healthy hair night. Bye.